Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. You thought you'd seen it all with this team, huh? You thought you knew what to expect. Well, buckle up, because the whispers around the Bay Area right now are loud and unapologetic, like a storm that refuses to let up. We're talking about a moment that could redefine an entire season. Imagine this. One of the most explosive forces in professional football. A man whose very name strikes fear into defenses coast to coast, teetering on the edge of an electrifying return. But wait, there's a saga unfolding behind closed doors. Timing, fate, and the ever-dreaded injury bug are dancing a delicate, high-stakes tango. This situation is layered, complex, and let's be honest, folks, it has more twists than a roller coaster ride at peak summer heat. The drama, the anticipation, and the potential implications are astronomical. And you do not want to miss a second of it. Let's dive in. You know when I bring you a story, it's not just another piece of news. It's a spectacle. It's a situation loaded with drama, with elements that'll have you glued to the edge of your seat, waiting for every single breathtaking update. Now make no mistake about it. This isn't just about a player's return. Oh no. This is about the suspense, the stakes, and the ripple effect across the league. Buckle up, because what I'm about to break down is a saga of grit, patience, and the high-stakes gamble that could very well alter the course of a championship run. We're talking about a team riding a razor-thin line between dominance and devastation. First, let's paint the picture. This franchise, this organization, has built something special, something dazzling on the field, but it's fragile. Oh, it's beautiful. But like a glass house in a hurricane, you've got to be careful, you've got to be precise, or it all comes crashing down. And in the middle of that storm, swirling and howling, is the potential comeback of a man whose absence has been like a giant, gaping hole in the heart of their offensive machine. That's right. We're talking about a game-changer, a playmaker with enough electricity in his veins to power a small city. But this ain't your typical comeback story, folks because we're dealing with the unpredictable nature of an Achilles injury. Oh yes, Achilles injuries are like the silent thieves of athletic greatness. One moment, a player is on top of the world, and the next, reduced to rehab sessions and wondering if they'll ever be the same again. And this man, this athlete we're waiting on, has been battling that very uncertainty. The team knows it. The fans know it. And if you think for one second that the opponents don't know it too, then you're sadly mistaken. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are eyeing this development as closely as a predator watches its prey, because they know that if this guy comes back, if he comes back even close to his full potential, he's not just a weapon. He's a tidal wave that changes the landscape of the entire game. Now here's where things get particularly juicy. Nothing will be official until this team's much-needed bye week concludes. That's right. They're taking some time, stepping away from the field, and then, they're making a call. Monday is the magic day, people. Monday is when things start heating up again. And you'd better believe that every word, every whisper out of that practice will be dissected, analyzed, and debated from coast to coast. Kyle Shanahan, a coach with nerves of steel and a mind like a chess grandmaster, has made it clear they want this guy back for that critical Monday session. But there's a process, a method to this madness, and it involves opening a very particular Vinta A Um Day window. Sounds simple, right? Wrong. It's anything but simple, because this practice window could either signal triumph or lead to heartbreak. Think about this. No bye week practices for this team. None. So, what does that mean for our man? It means he's not sitting back and relaxing. No, no, no. He's pushing, testing, simulating game-like scenarios to make sure his Achilles is ready for prime time. Because here's the deal. It's not just about whether he can run or cut. It's about whether he can handle the physicality, the sheer brutality of the game. The stakes? Monstrous. The risks? Enormous. But the potential payoff? Let's just say if he returns at even OE 10%, it's going to be absolute fireworks. And then there's the timeline. The tantalizing, nerve-wracking timeline. We're talking about the possibility of this guy practicing fully on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday before one of the most anticipated matchups of the year against the Buccaneers in Week Des. But here's the kicker. If he needs more than just one week of practice to get game ready, the suspense drags on. The drama thickens. 
it means they'll be keeping a close, almost obsessive watch on his recovery. It's not just a decision, it's a gamble that could send shockwaves through the organization. If he's not activated by Saturday, November 9th, then we're looking at another week of what-ifs and maybes. Now here's something that should have you in a frenzy. This Vante A. Um Day practice window opening on Monday sets the clock ticking. The clock, my friends, is relentless. They have until November 25th to make a move. Activate him or end the dream by placing him on season-ending IR. You think that's an easy decision? Think again. It's a decision that could determine the fate of a season. You've got medical experts, coaching staff, the front office, and yes, the player himself all trying to balance caution and urgency. One wrong move, and we're talking about the devastating end to what could have been a storybook return. And let's not forget about the ripple effects. The Buccaneers are no joke. They're strategizing, game planning, and preparing for every scenario. If this man steps on the field, it changes everything. Their defense has to prepare for a different level of threat, a different kind of intensity. If he's out there, the field tilts, the odds shift, and the narrative transforms. But let me emphasize this. Even with all the excitement, even with all the anticipation, there's still a layer of uncertainty that looms over this entire story. Because as history has shown us, Achilles' injuries are nothing to take lightly. The risk of re-injury, the chance that he's not quite the same, it's real and it's daunting. Now think about the fans, the anticipation, the hope. This franchise is one of passion, of history, of high expectations. The weight of this moment is almost unbearable because it's not just about one player. It's about everything this team stands for, everything they've fought for. It's about chasing a dream and doing whatever it takes to keep it alive. And so, the question remains, will this player, this extraordinary talent, return and bring the storm with him? Or will this saga have a bitter, heartbreaking twist? Only time will tell. All right, here we go. Let's keep this roller coaster ride of anticipation and drama going because you and I both know this story is far from over. In fact, it's only just beginning to peak. The more we peel back the layers, the more we see just how high the stakes really are. Picture this. A team standing at a crossroads, their season hanging in the balance, with one of the most electrifying players in the game as the key to their future. Yeah, I said it. This is about more than just statistics and recovery times. This is about heart, determination, and the relentless pursuit of greatness. You see, the brilliance of this franchise is that they've built a roster that can win it all, but not without all the pieces clicking into place. And that brings us back to the main event, the high-stakes gamble that has everyone from the die-hard fans to the front office sweating bullets. Monday looms large on the calendar. It's not just another day. It's the day. It's the beginning of a journey that could culminate in triumph or end in utter despair. Kyle Shanahan, the mastermind himself, is working around the clock, dissecting every angle, every possibility, because you better believe he's not leaving anything to chance. This is about precision, execution, and a whole lot of hope wrapped in a thick layer of suspense. Now let's address the elephant in the room, the doubts. Because let's be real, as much as we want to believe that this comeback will be a fairy tale ending, history tells us it's never that simple. Achilles' injuries are known for their unpredictability, their ability to derail even the most promising careers. The rehab process is grueling, the mental hurdles even more so. This player has been grinding, putting in the work to make this return a reality. But the reality is that the pressure is immense. It's not just about the physical readiness, it's about the mental toughness to step back on that field, knowing full well that one wrong move could spell disaster. Can he handle that? Can he be the superhero this team so desperately needs? Those questions hang heavy, like storm clouds over a city bracing for impact. But here's where the story takes another turn. If this comeback does happen, and let's not pretend that's a small if, then we're talking about a ripple effect that changes everything. It's like the classic sports drama where one player can be the spark that ignites a championship run. We're not just talking about a solid contribution. We're talking about game-breaking plays that tilt the field in his team's favor. Defensive coordinators across the league are watching this situation unfold with bated breath because they know what's at stake. If he's back, if he's even close to the player we know he can be, 
It means nightmares for any defense that tries to stand in his way. The tension? Oh, it's palpable. The implications? Monumental. So let's break down the timeline once more, just to underscore how incredibly crucial every single day is. Monday, the team is scheduled for that bonus practice. If this guy can get back on the field, it won't just be about running routes or making cuts. It'll be about testing, evaluating, and re-evaluating every step, every move, to ensure that Achilles is ready to withstand the intensity of the game. The medical staff will be laser-focused, monitoring everything from his gait to his explosiveness. There will be whispers, speculation, and no doubt, some over-the-top reactions from the media. Because that's the nature of the beast, isn't it? We live in an era where every detail gets magnified, scrutinized, and debated endlessly. If he manages to practice Monday through Friday, if he makes it through without setbacks, then Saturday, November 9th, becomes a date etched in the minds of every fan and analyst alike. That's when the official decision will be made. Activate him or wait. The sheer drama of that moment, the weight of what it could mean, is enough to make anyone's heart race. Because if he's activated, it sets the stage for one of the most high-pressure games of the season. We're talking about a weak Dez showdown against the Buccaneers, a team with plenty of firepower and absolutely no intention of being part of someone else's comeback story. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's still the matter of how his Achilles responds to the increased workload. The medical team, the coaching staff, even the front office, they're all holding their breath, waiting to see how this plays out. And what happens if things don't go as planned? What if the Achilles doesn't respond well, or if there's even the slightest sign of trouble? The team will be faced with a gut-wrenching decision. Keep pushing forward or play it safe. It's a no-win situation, because playing it safe could mean losing out on a potential game-changer. But taking the risk could lead to catastrophic consequences. This is the reality of professional sports, the brutal, unfiltered truth that keeps fans invested and teams on edge. The Vinte A Um Day window. Let's talk about that for a second. Once it's opened on Monday, the clock starts ticking, and there's no turning back. By November 25th, a final decision must be made. Activate him or shut it down for the season. Can you imagine the level of pressure this coaching staff is under? Can you even fathom the sleepless nights, the constant strategizing, and the what-ifs that are racing through everyone's mind? This is what makes sports so compelling, so utterly captivating. The human element, the gamble, the idea that so much can hang on the recovery of a single player. It's the stuff of legend or heartbreak, depending on how it all unfolds. And what about the fans? Oh, the fans. They've been through the highs and the lows, the thrilling victories and the soul-crushing defeats. They're hungry for a title, desperate for that feeling of holding a championship trophy high. This player's return isn't just about wins and losses. It's about hope, about the belief that this team can be great again, that they can rise above adversity and prove the doubters wrong. The buzz, the excitement, the unspoken fears, all of it comes together to create an atmosphere that's as intense as it gets. And you better believe that every single person in that stadium, every person watching from home, will be hanging on to every play, every movement, waiting to see if their hopes and dreams can be realized. And while we wait, the conversations rage on. Analysts debating, fans speculating, and the whispers never stopping. Every tweet, every update adds fuel to the fire, because that's what this story is. A fire. One that could either ignite a season or leave everyone smoldering in disappointment. And let me tell you, the stakes don't get any higher. We're talking about the legacy of this franchise, about a coach whose reputation is on the line, about a fan base that lives and breathes every second of this journey. This is sports at its finest, raw and unpredictable, and I'm here for every single moment.